Another video in today is Plymouth Argo versus Fleetwood Town at home. Um, obviously, Argo and Fleetwood, we, we've played them quite a few times in this past in these past few years. Um, and our previous three games against them, we've lost 5-1 away, and that, that included the red card from ex Argo player Canavan. Previous out on the 16th uh, of March 2019, we lost 2-0 away again. But then previous that again on the 24th of November 2018, we beat them 2-1 at home. So if we're going to look at it positively, we like the last time we played them at home, we won. So that, that might give us a bit of bit of spirit fighting into it. Um, the current form, Fleetwood stand 13th, Argos stand 12th. Their previous games, they've beat Doncaster 3-1, drew to Bristol Rovers, lost to Oxford, drew to Northampton and drew to Wigan. They've had quite a few draws and most of them being 0-0. Um, while with Argo, we stand 12th. We beat Atkinson 1-0 with a Niall Ennis goal on, on, in the week. Uh, we drew 2-2 with Portsmouth, drew 2-2 with Accrington, uh, beat Swindon 2-0 and beat Sunderland 2-1. So I think we we might be favourites to pop into this game. Um, but obviously, you know, the Fleetwood are a good side. They got playoffs last season. It's going to be a tough game. Argo is so far unbeaten in the league this year. Um, but I'm going to predict a 1-0 win to our goal. Uh, we're at home uh, and our current form is, is better than theirs. The lineup is just the same as what, when we played Accrington in the week. Cooper in goal, Amos and Apoku, Watts at the back. Brian Moore and Grant wing-backs. I think Edwards might be injured. Um, he hasn't played the last couple of weeks, and but I'm, I'm not too sure. If anyone could let me know down in the comments, let me know. Uh, Kamara, Fauna and Mayer in the middle and Ennis and Jeff got up front. Ennis started on in the week against uh, Accrington and he played really well. He got himself a goal. So hopefully he can do the same again, maybe get a goal, maybe get another. Uh, and same with Jeff, Jeff got, hopefully he can get a goal. So um, I'll see you at halftime now. All right guys, so it's the end of the first half now. I'll go into halftime leading one nil. Um, it's been a cracking game of football so far. Both sides really attacking, it's end-to-end it's -end stuff really. Our goal came ahead first, which is it was quite fluky and quite honestly lucky from us. Um, so Kamara's played it wide to Brian Moore. Brian Moore's whipped it in, and Holgate for Fleetwood's hit it into our, into his own net. Um, I'm pretty sure Jeff got would have gone to the end of it anyway. So it was one nil. But previously, before that, it's the attack before the exact same happened with Amerson. Um, but luckily for us, Cooper stopped it. Uh, talking about Amerson, Amerson, Apoku and Watts, they're playing really well, they're really strong, they haven't let much past them, Fleetwood have had chances, but Argos defence has dealt with it really well, something we've we've struggled with the last, last few weeks is defending, and this week against a good a good side, you know, they've got a good striker in Vassal and Mulgrew, and, you know, they're, they're a decent side, um, and, and we're defending really well, um, but our, our team passing, our, our passing play is incredible, on and off the ball, um, Mayer and Grant, they're, they're working together really well. And down that left side, we're really exposing Fleetwood. And that's where we're gaining most of our chances. Jeff Gott is, is having a really good game. He's on fire. He's hitting shots left, right and centre. Something we've probably missed from him the last, last few games, the last month or so. He's, he's starting to hit shots. The keeper's made a couple of good saves, including a double save from Jeff Gott and Ennis. But Ennis was offside. Um... Fleetwood had a goal, but it was offside. We I missed it due to the I follow playback. It was playing back uh, an attack, and then they they gone and scored. It looked as if uh, it was offside. There was a there was a pass back, then pass back through, and so I don't know. But yeah, we we we're, we're playing well. Um, but both sides are playing well. To be honest, it's a really even game. Our goal's just coming out a bit on top though on the attacking side. But we need to start taking our chances. Uh, hopefully we can, we can in the in the second half. Um, one, my only worry is that Amerson went down a couple of minutes before half time. Uh, he did play until the end of the first half, but I wonder if now Rhino is going to assess the situation, and possibly take him off. I hope not, but I'm not I'm not sure. So um, I'll see you at full time. Hopefully Argo can run this out and get the three three points. Now, Argo won one nil, three points, eight unbeaten now. Um, Argo started off the, the half like they always do. They, they weren't really pressing as well. Fleetwood had more attacking chances. Argo didn't really at attack, but we, 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 had, we had a few chances when we grew into that second half. Kamara hit it just wide. Hardy and Lewis came on for Jeff Cron and Kamara. Um, you know, we had chances cleared off the line from Hardy. Chances that should be going in. Shots blocked from Lewis. 
you know, we, we could have really scored quite a few today, um, but it was unfortunate we didn't. Uh, Fleetwood were a very physical side and um, yeah, just fair play to them. They got into the playoffs last year. We've we've managed to beat them. Hopefully we can push ourselves into the playoffs. Uh, but yeah, best of luck to Fleetwood for the rest of the season. Hopefully you can get, you know, get yourself in the playoffs, get yourself where you want to get yourself to. Um, big hats off to Simon Grayson as well. You know, he, he's he's playing well under under new under a new team and he's only been there not long, I don't think. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next Also, time. subscribe to uh, Cod's vlogs. Link will be down below. He's gave me his time to give me a little preview for you guys. So I'll play that now. Thank you um, for, for giving me a preview, lad. And good luck to Fleet for the rest of the season. Come on, I'll go. Another day, another Fleet with loss. It was... Uh... A disappointing one, but I thought Plymouth obviously deserved the win. It was a 1-0 a scrappy game in the end. A mistake by the Fleetwood man. Unfortunately, Town do come away with nothing. And a game again away from home with no goals in it for us. Um, no win away, I think, in nearly eight weeks now. So hopefully that can be sorted out as soon as possible. But overall, I thought Plymouth deserved the win. They had a few good chances through Jeff Carr. And then he's had a couple of bites of the cherry. I thought Hardy was terrific when he came on. So, you know, I thought overall he had the better chances. And in the end, it could have been maybe more than one. Uh, we were okay today, but we just didn't do enough, enough in the final third. And the subs were a little bit late. But fair play to Plymouth. Best of luck, luck for the rest of the season. And maybe see you in the playoffs at the end of the year. I really believe that you could sneak into them. And um, I'm Cod's Vlogs. I'm a Fleetwood Town YouTuber if you fancy checking me out. Thank you to Harvey for letting me have...